And we are going to talk about uh, a, a scenario, a use case that uh, let's assume you have a, a Elastic Cash Redis cluster in the account B here, and uh, you have uh, another AWS account uh, which is, uh, which we can mention as account A, which is this. And uh, there's a scenario that you want to access uh, uh, the Elastic Cash for Redis. Uh, through the private subnet, not going through the internet, and uh, you can create a VPC endpoint service. So, but uh, the problem is currently when you're creating the NLB for the VPC endpoint services, uh, there's no any option that you can use any managed services as targets such as uh, Elastic Cache, Elasticsearch, RDS, so on. So, there's an option we can use uh, when you create the NLB. We can use uh, the Elastic Cache uh, private IP addresses. So there's a demo I will be showing in detail how we can get the IP address, how we're setting up everything each and out. So just I'm going to explain the infrastructure. It's very simple and basic. So you have like two AWS accounts and make sure there are some key points you, main, uh, you have to be uh, focused on that uh, the region should be same and the uh, availability zone IDs as well. So when you go to that documentation, so they mentioned that uh, in AWS that year, so this part that uh, the uh, availability zone ID should be the same when you creating the uh, VPC endpoint services and endpoints. So if you, I'll put this link as well in the video, so you can, if any doubts, you can check that. So basically, uh, let's go and see the demo that how we're going to access and uh, what are the uh, the <coughs> uh, AWS services we are going to use uh, in the demo? Let's go and see how the uh, the demo works. So uh, I have two accounts. So as I mentioned uh, before, so account A and account B. So basically, what I want to do is like from this account to access the Elastic uh, Cash Redis cluster, which is in here using a, a <coughs> VPC endpoint services. So uh, let's go to the VPC. And another tab, I'm going to open the, the Redis Elastic Cache. Okay, I created a cluster before because it's it takes time to uh, create, uh, uh, initi I mean, initiate the cluster. So you can see here um, the security group and the VPC. And um, uh, I have like three nodes. I created in the uh, North Virginia US East one and my availability zone is A. Now let's go to the endpoint services. Okay, let's create the endpoint service. So, Elastic Cache. service um, I'm going to use a network load balance for this so let's create a NLB okay let's do cash I'm going to create an internal one. So main purpose of the using these endpoints are just to uh, secure our network. And uh, let's create a, yes, this is my uh, app subnet, which is a private subnet. And the already is port 6379. Okay, so we have to create a target group. So here, uh, the target group supports like uh, several uh, option as targets, in, for example, instances, IP addresses, Lambda functions, and now recently they have enabled the application load balance. This is a really cool feature. So basically you can, uh, let's assume you have an application which is run, uh, using uh, application load balancer. 
so directly you can point as ALB here but here still we don't have any option like uh, uh, many services for like uh, Elastic Cache, Elasticsearch uh, for such services we can use as a target here so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use IP address instead of that uh, for these uh, Elastic Cache uh, uh, the Redis uh, service so let's Elastic Cache Nine. So health check, I'm going to keep it as it is, uh, uh, the traffic port because I'm going to use the same port because it's the uh, port here in using by the Redis 6379. Okay. Okay. So, I'm create the load balancer. So, I'm going to create the target group first. Next. Okay, so you want to know what are the IP address of this Elastic Cache using, right? So basically, what you can do is um, uh, in uh, EC2 console, in network section, you can see network interface, right? So when you create a, a resource in AWS, uh, in a VPC, so basically what will happen, it will create this uh, network interface, uh, network interface with uh, the private IP address, you can see here. And uh, uh, this private IP address, it's like a burn to that uh, resources that never gonna change unless you're gonna terminate it. It's gonna be stay same, so it's not. Net, it's never gonna change uh, any any time unless you have you're going to uh, terminate this. For example, if you want to terminate this Elastic Cache um, instance, I'm gonna create a new one. Then yes, it will change. So until that, it won't change. So what we can what we can do is we can copy this uh, IPs and at as our target groups. Okay, so it's pending. So I'm creating the target group. Okay, now let's go back to the load balancer. It's there. And everything seems okay. This is still provisioning. So once it's created, uh, it, the NLB should appear here. So I'm going to uh, pause the video for a while. Um, so we'll resume this once the uh, NLB is created. I already clicked it because I <laughs> only there's only one NLB because uh, this is testing demo account once this is recorded i will be deleting this entire account yeah then we have this acceptance required option it's really uh, really nice because uh, you can make sure uh, that there's a manual process to accept these things for um, audit purposes and security purposes and this one also really nice associate a private dns name with the uh, service so basically uh, you can make sure that uh, uh, you can have a private DNS name and then the DNS name will be uh, have to uh, you know appropriate approve using a, a TXT record so make sure uh, the owners the real owners of their domain only can access this uh, this service so this is really a good option that AWS is providing currently for this demo I'm not going to use it so just make sure that there's option like this and I'm going to create it Okay, now can see the uh, uh, endpoint services is uh, available. So this is the uh, domain verification name and status uh, which I was explaining before. So uh, here we are not going to use it, but yes, that's option you can obviously use that. 
So currently, uh, we don't have any uh, yellow principles. This is where I was mentioning that uh, acceptance and the uh, extra uh, security uh, principles are there. So what I'm going to do is, this is my account B. I'm going to uh, take the account A IP address and I'm going to whitelist here. So let's see. Okay, I already copied. Nice. So it's already added from here, and you can see currently there are not no any endpoint services. So let's go and create the endpoint from the account uh, A. So for that, uh, we are going to search through the service name. So make sure you copy the service name here. Let's go to the VPC. This is my account A. So go to the endpoints. So there are no endpoints. I'm going to create one now. So this option here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use find service by name so when I paste this yes it found it so here I told you right before uh, I created the uh, service endpoint like uh, endpoint services uh, they were uh, the NLBs everything under this AZ1 so that's why uh, the others uh, available zones are not available for this uh, it's saying that service not support in this available zone so you make sure you create in the correct available zone when you're creating the services so that's a key point you have to make sure to remind. So I'm going to uh, create under this one, this uh, availability zone and this subnet. And let's go down. So uh, before you know, I created, uh, I before recording this, I, I uh, did a, a kind of a test run. So I created the security group earlier. So I'm going to uh, give this uh, Redis access. I will go through the security groups later. Uh, I will show that uh, what are the uh, allowed rules and stuff. And I'm going to add a tag, the name. Yep, Redis uh, access VPC. This is the one I was testing before. Okay, so let's create the endpoint. Okay. Uh, see now the, the manual acceptance uh, is pending so we have to go to the other account and uh, we should accept this account here okay it's pending now so what we can do is we can click accept the point So as a good practice, what we can do is we can do a peer review, like uh, uh, you are the one who creating this uh, setup and you can ask another engineer to uh, do a peer review and, you know, uh, do it, make a CR, a change request, and that engineer can uh, go and manually uh, verify and check uh, if everything's okay. It's better to uh, do that when you're doing manual work like this uh, or else, like uh, as we all um, talk about IACs, yes, uh, the infrastructure is code, so we can automate these things as well. So it's still pending. I'm going to pause from here and let's uh, continue once its uh, state is available. It's already available and let's go to the account A. And yes, it's available as well here. So our endpoint is ready. So here uh, you can see the, the service name and the DNS name. So this is for the entire uh, uh, the, uh, the region, the VPC. So this one is for each uh, subnets so when if you have, if you have created uh, the subnet services uh, like uh, sorry if you created the uh, vpc endpoint services and the endpoint uh, for multiple subnets uh, you will see for each subnet uh, each url here and let's uh, let's go to uh, the ec2 uh, console because i have created a, a test app test uh, like <coughs> a ec2 instance uh, to check the connectivity and uh, let's assume this is uh, inside a private subnet. I didn't bother to create a jump post and create a uh, create a EC2 in a private subnet. Uh, the purpose of the demo just want to make sure the the uh, 
the idea of how to uh, create uh, the VPC endpoint services for Redis cluster, right? So uh, let's assume uh, this is uh, in, this is inside a private subnet. And security, you can see, uh, I'm just en enable my, uh, I mean, like uh, enable the port 22 for the public. Uh, by the time when you try, if you try to access this IP, uh, the, the service will be destroyed because uh, after the demo, I'll be cleaning the account. Yeah. So uh, let's SSH to this one and uh, let's uh, copy the DNS URL. And okay, uh, I forgot to show you the security group of the uh, the Redis access which I created. So this is the security group. Um, there are multiple security groups which I created for demos. So Redis access. Uh, the inbound is uh, basically from uh, my. This is the security group of my. Uh, yeah which I created for uh, the access the uh, my the testing EC2 instance. So basically, uh, whatever the uh, instances using the security group basically have the access to uh, connect to this port, uh, which is Redis uh, 6379. So I'm not gonna do any changes, uh, canceling it. Then let's go to the uh, EC2 instance. I already SSH here and I'm going to try the uh, telnet command so this is the VPC endpoint URL which I copied so it's 6379 oops sorry that's a typo <laughs> you can see it's connected so basically what I've done is um, using the VPC endpoint services and the service uh, created endpoint services inside the account B uh, using the NLB. I'm accessing the uh, Elastic Cache Redis clusters and creating endpoint here and this endpoint URL, uh, which I am accessing the accessing through the application server uh, securely inside network. So. Uh, yes, so this is uh, one of uh, there are multiple ways to do it. Uh, this is a simple way which I found uh, To um, satisfy this requirement. So if you have any requirement like you want to uh, share the your elastic Cache clusters in between the VPCs that uh, or separate accounts uh, you can what you can do is uh, uh, You can create when VPC endpoint service like this and you can try to uh, yes get the access so yes, if you have any doubts, just put in the comments. I would love to, uh, you know, uh, uh, reply to those. And if I, if you think like I can improve, uh, improve more in the recording the sessions, maybe I might mm, uh, can improve some areas of uh, sharing these things. So if you need like any uh, extra areas to cover, please put in the comment. I'm more than happy to help. So thank you very much uh, for watching this.